Baseball from the Lone Star State. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Texas Rangers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. Chris, one of the elite power bats in the game featured in the lineup today. He is a must-see at bat. Yeah, Boog, it's like he's playing pepper with the outfield fence. He lives in the gaps and can hit the ball over the fence as well. Just puts on a show, an offensive display when he steps in the batter's box. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about to get started. Our starter in this one, Martin Perez. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Tim Anderson, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. First pitch, 7-0-5. Up the middle, Smith on the run, sends it over to first. Out. One up, one down. Here is Yohan Moncada. A switch hitter batting right. And the first ball pitch one. misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And he takes a strike. The 1-1. One, one. And that one is inside. Two two. Ball. Full count. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, in there safely. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel good about what you did at the plate you trusted your hands you let the ball travel and you took the barrel straight to it that's great work right there Luis Robert now first offering misses the mark Moncada the runner at second with one away Next pitch downstairs, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Ripped on a line. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Moncada coming home. The relay. Safe. And they take the lead. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Andrew Vaughn now. Pulls that one foul. One out and a runner at second. Swang and a high fly ball in the air left field. That one carrying out of here. A two run homer is 14th of the year and they add to their lead. It's three nothing.
Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Benintendi to the plate. Ball one, no strikes. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Still only one out here in the inning. The next pitch misses, ball two. Perez, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. In for a strike, now three and one. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. This guy will throw any pitch at any count, 3-2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Next to hit, Jake Berger. That's in there. That's strike one. The 0-1. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him. That's the third out. Well, the White Sox with a two-run homer. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. Back here at the ballpark and getting the nod for the White Sox, Michael Kopech. Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trust that his stuff can have late life and miss barrels of bats. Here is Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon. And here it comes. That one missing inside. And the 1 0. Yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. The 1 1 is fouled off. The one two foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Well, he missed a hittable off speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And Simeon is out. And there's one down. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Now a drag bunt, third base side, and it goes just foul. 
The wind of the pitch. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. One down, base is empty. Off the mark Ball. there. And yeah, the count one and two. Oh, two oh, two curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. Yeah, the one, two misses to even the count. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Left hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Third. The first base is not that yellow. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And it falls. And now a two out opportunity for Adolis Garcia. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Here's your one. Swing and a foul straight back. Low. Off of first with two away. Foul ball. It stays. Nothing in two. Righty to the plate. Got him. Swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So no runs here on a base hit. No errors and one left. We head to the second in Arlington. It's the White Sox three and the Rangers nothing. Welcome back. Here's the rookie right fielder. Number 22. The right fielder. Oscar. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Here's a 1-1. There's a swing and a miss. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Ground ball up the middle. Gets it to first. One out in the second. Here's Elvis Andrews. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. And now the lefty. And there's a ball. Ripped into right field, base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now here is Sebi Zavala. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And that's in there for strike one. The 
pitch. And takes low for ball one. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. On to Simeon. And it's a double play to end the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the White Sox three and the Rangers nothing. Bottom half of inning number two. Here is the rookie third baseman, Josh Young. The wind and the pitch. Ball one there. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Ah. And now it's even up. And the right hater deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Righty delivers. And now the count is even. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Why to kick the pitch on the ground at first and it stays fair and that rolls into the corner now he turns and heads for second not in time he's got a double gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat battling with two strikes when you connect and it jumps off your bat like that you're thinking double at the very least put a great swing on it and man he wasn't fooled at all Here's Leody Tavares. First ball. pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Runner at second, nobody out. Next pitch is outside. And he deals. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Next offering misses down and away. And that's ball four. Mitch Garver up to it here. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Mitch Garver, one of the rare major league players who hails from New Mexico, and one of the other ones, pretty good player. Third baseman for the Astros. Garver grew up playing with Alex Bregman as a kid. And yeah, the first one offering out. is not close. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss as he was late. I think he was sitting off speed there. And now two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Two and one now. Two aboard. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three, and they turn the double play. Up next for the Rangers, Sam Huff. 
known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Pitch misses there. Ball one. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. The 1 1. Now, just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Rangers leave one. They trail in this one 3 0. Here's Tim Anderson, Leading grounded out to short in his first six trip. Tim Anderson Andrew goes Andrew. six foot one, hitting leadoff in today's game, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Line drive, base hit. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. Here is Moncada, doubled in his first A.B. Hit on the ground to the right side, and it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And Whoa. just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And now it's Luis Robert. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Ball Whoa. one, no strikes. No outs, runners at first and second. In there at the knees, and it's one and one. And that's outside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Next one is off the plate. Ball three. Good pitchers make pitches in big situations, and right here with a middle-of-the-order hitter up, runner in scoring position, he's got to find a way to throw a quality strike. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one is out of here. With one swing, he quiets the crowd. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 6-0. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. And the Rangers manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Martin Perez departs, and this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. Cody Bradford on the pitch here. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. That's ball. off the mark, and that's ball one. Bradford, a 6-4 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. And a pitch. Hi. That one drifts inside. Ball. 
And it's even up. Two balls, two strikes. And that skips in the dirt. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. Close, but called a ball. And that is ball one. And That's another ball. ball. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. At the belt and fires. And that one oh. upstairs. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. He's 0 for 1. And that one a little bit high. First and second here, no outs. Line drive, base hit. Vaughn around third. He will score. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Number 22 steps to the plate for the White Sox. Grounded out his first time. That one's in there, 0 and 1. No ball. One strike. No outs. Runners at first and third. And he's down 0 2 no as he swings through it. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say, get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can, and let the result be whatever it's going to be. And the 0 2. Slow roller up the middle. Bradford to second on the low. It's a double play. So up next for Chicago, Elvis Andrews. And he's already singled in this game. Swings through that. Well, he threw that oh, fastball Lord. right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? <laughs> oh, and two now. Andrews checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And Mike Fillmore right on it. He says he held up. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Another 1-2. Stays alive. Two outs with a runner at third. That oh. misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He'll touch them all. 
third home run of the season, and they tack on to their lead. It's 9 0. Singy, that's his 99th career homer. Well, he's probably already thinking about the next one, and don't want to think too hard because you'll start to struggle. 100 is a really nice number to get to, though. Now, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And yeah, the batter now, Sebi Zavala. First offering, and it just misses. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Way high. This has been a rough inning, but sometimes you just got to work through it, save the rest of that bullpen, somehow stop the bleeding. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Outside. Three balls, one strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Tavares going after it. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. Not shortstop. Kopech back to work. And that's a strike. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Ball. And now one and two. Next pitch no. just misses. Two, two and two. It's a good take. Next offering is foul back. The pitch. That one a oh, little man. bit high. And now three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Left hand batter waits. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a pitch. The punch out there. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Really good battle right there, and that final pitch no probably could have no gone no either way. He was hoping Second he'd get ball four. Man. Instead, the umpire yeah. rings him up for the backwards game. Yeah. Now it's Marcus Simeon. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And the first ball pitch one. misses for ball one. one Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. The wind of the pitch. That to right. That's down. One hops off the wall. He's in at second with a one-out double. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. One out, runner at second. And now it's going to be Travis Jankowski. 0 for 1 so far. 
first oh. offering misses the mark. One of the other aspects of Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years. He's even willing to work with guys from the opposing teams. We saw him in the All-Star game working with NL East. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 9-1. Well done. Drives in the run. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Picked up a base hit to center his first time up. And that one wrapped foul. And the 1. There's a strike. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Typically, that high fastball, oh, if it's wing close wing. to the top of the, the right strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little yeah. jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Ground ball right side, and that's a fair ball. And that rolls into the corner. Jankowski around third. Relay throw home. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Love how he let that ball travel. He trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So, man aboard. Here's Josh Young. In there for strike one. Man on second, two down. Swing and a foul straight back. The 0-2. Just misses with that one. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. Swings and misses. Gassed it right by him. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. On to inning number four. It's the White Sox nine and the Rangers two. Tim Anderson getting ready to hit. A moment everyone thinks of with Tim Anderson is the walk-off homer he hit in the inaugural Field of Dreams game in 2021. That felt like a movie. Yeah, and it was a movie that Tim Anderson had never seen. Right through there for a strike. That's to third. And yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. Up next to Chicago, the designated hitter, Yohan Moncada. And now Yohan Moncada. There's a strike. And it's fouled away. Next oh. offering is down low. A little bit low. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. He 
keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Smoked into left, base hit. Now he'll turn for second. Pulls in with a double, third hit for him today. He has had such a good day today. I don't think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. Luis Robert now at the plate. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Action in the pen down there. Yeri Rodriguez preparing to come on if needed. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch oh. is inside, and it's 3 0. Man at second. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one hops against the fence. Runner from second scores as they add on. And it's now 10-2. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Gary Rodriguez gets handed the rock out of the pen. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to have him on. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. One down, and here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh one. And that's downstairs and outside. Next pitch is outside. Right handed reliever. There's a strike. And now it's filled up. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Andrew Benintendi steps up. When you look at Benintendi, think about this. He played in the same conference as both Alex Bregman and Dansby Swanson. Those two guys picked ahead of him in the first round. But it was Benintendi who was the SEC Player of the Year the year they all got drafted. Yeah, uh, the organization clearly saw something special in this kid as a prospect, and it's paid off nicely. No ball. Two Good outs, play. and one in scoring position. Out to center, Tavares settles under it, squeezes it, and that's the inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the White Sox 10 and the Rangers 2. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. The center fielder. 
Lee Hody, Todd Harris. The right-hander back to work. And that's too high. Now, when you think about players in the past or even in today's game, who's a comparison? He reminds me a little bit of Harold Baines. Both of them lefties, both outfielders, and he's shown similar types of production at the plate. The pitch. A hike. Two one. Center field. Robert moves under it. He's there. He's got it. One up, one down. Now battle. The designated hitter. Digging in. Mitch Garver. That one way outside. And that's ball one. Good eye right there. Two ball, no strike. Next offering is foul back. And the pitch. The two on is high. Line drive, caught! That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he the couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Two outs, base is empty. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Sam Huff. Struck out swinging his first time. That's a little bit low. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. And the Rangers set down in order. And the deficit stays at eight. It's 10-2. Here's some real power at the plate. Jake Berger, outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Berger. Here comes a pitch. That misses off the outside edge. You know, these White Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. It's been a real team effort already. Now a rocket to right center. Way back there. And forget it. It's out of here. He sends one out the opposite way. Is 26th of the year. And they tack one on the board. It's 11-2. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. And up next for Chicago, number 22. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a pitch. Yeah. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The pitch. To third. And that's the first out. out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. The batter number one. Second base. Elvis. And next to hit for the Sox, Elvis Andrews. 
He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. In the air right side. Garcia settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two outs. Now back. Catch it. Two Sebi outs, base is empty. Zavala. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sebi Zavala. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out. And we'll end the inning. But the White Sox get one on a homer. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Now, here is Josh Smith caught looking his first time up. I think the other component is putting down the finger that the pitcher wants to throw and being on the same page. And that's something that this guy does really well. Gets in sync with his pitchers. Right. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Boog, his preparation is off the charts. I was down in the clubhouse today trying to find him just to pick his brain a little bit. He's oh. so buried in that video room, it's hard to get a chance to talk to him. Ball to strike. The pitch. Well, these Rangers looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. And the 2-2. Soft contact in the air. Makes the catch for the out. Number, number two. Second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Stepping in, Marcus Simeon. Chris Marcus Simeon, Bay Area guy, played his college ball at Cal. White Sox selected him in the sixth round in 2011, and he has developed into a fine player. Yeah, no. and he comes from a really good athletic line. His dad played football at Cal. His mom was also an athlete in college, and... This guy is just a really good leader on a ball club. Had a breakout to his career when he went to Toronto and started hitting home runs left and right. No trouble here. Puts it away now, for the out. Left field. And there's two down. Travis, Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. Outfield playing pretty shallow. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time. And he's pretty good at it, Chris. Oh. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. Fly ball, center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. A couple of hits in a row for him here. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. So up next, Nathaniel Lowe. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. In the air, left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And that will end the inning. One left for Texas. That won't help much. It's 11-2. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Now it's the shortstop, Tim Anderson. One for three. The wind and the pitch. One ball, no strike. On the ground, out to short. And it gets by him. The bat, just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Man at first. Yoan Moncada steps to the plate for the White Sox. Rodriguez checks the runner. Anderson dives back. 
Moncada in his sixth season 27 years old he's usually a third baseman but today he's the designated hitter into the outfield base hit lead runner to second so two on and nobody out everything came together perfectly for him right there smash that one through the infield for the knock when it's hit that hard it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play so up next for Chicago Luis Robert and ball one a little bit of a day off for him instead of being at the hot corner he can just kind of put the batting gloves on hold the bat as he sits on the bench waiting for his time to hit. And there's the strike. One ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. The one two. Got it by him for the K. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Vaughn stands in here, takes ball one low. In the air, center field. Tavares settles under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And there's two away. The left fielder, number 23, Andrew Benintendi. Benintendi up here. The Red Sox made Andrew Benintendi the seventh overall pick in 2015 and remember he won the Golden Spikes Award for the top college player that year at the University of Arkansas he had two guys ball. in his conference that were drafted ahead of him One Alex ball. Bregman who no went strike. second overall from LSU Dansby Swanson who went first overall out of Vanderbilt that one's in there and a count one and one and he almost won one more award in 2017 when he finished runner up to Aaron Judge for rookie of the year the next season he won the World Series with the Red Sox the one one is fouled off the one two on the ground to third they take the force out that's out number three. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the White Sox 11 and the Rangers 2. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Bounced up the middle. Anderson. Over to first. And Garcia is out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Pitch misses there, and it's 1-0. Next pitch has popped up. Anderson settles under it. Snags it for the second out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Two outs, base is empty. Leody Tavares stepping in for the Rangers. First no, offering and it ball. just misses. 1 0. And that's a little oh, high. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Oh. 
Just oh. missed. Yeah, there's That's ball, down, four. ball four. Speaking of walks, did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark now, today? I know you like to take in all the surroundings. I just love interacting with the people. It's just fun to connect. I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. Garver in the box now. No balls and a strike. Garver goes six foot one, 220 pounds. And he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in New Mexico. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. That one felt good. It's his sixth home run of the season. It's 11-4. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? But a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Powers that fastball out of here. Next to hit, Sam Huff. And yeah, that's in there for strike one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. In the air, foul off first. Vaughn makes the grab, and that'll do it. Texas plates two on the homer. Seventh inning coming up. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Jake Berger digs in now. Rodriguez back to work. Hit hard. That gets through. Wastes no time there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. So digging in, number 22. Base hit, left center field. Berger around second, headed for third. The run scores from first, extending their lead, and now it's 12-4. Well, oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. So, man aboard. Here's the second baseman, Elvis Andrews. Gets the call. That's strike one. Right hander kicks deals. And a swing and a miss. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Oh. That one inside, it's a ball and two strikes. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. And here's the catcher, Sebi Zavala. The catcher, Sebi Zavala. Strike. 
That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Now one and one. The one one. Good eye right there. Two ball, one strike. This to center field. Tavares settles under it. Brings it in. And there are two down. Back to the top of the lineup. And now the shortstop, Tim Anderson. Tim Anderson. This is inside. Ball one. Well, that two seam fastball is a great pitch from a right hander to a right handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Just a slow ground ball this time. The throw to first, and yeah, they take care of Anderson for the out. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the White Sox 12 and the Rangers 4. New pitcher for the White Sox, Tuki Tucson. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Tuki Tucson. So digging in, Josh Lead Smith. For the Rangers, the shortstop. The wind of the pitch. Just Whoa. off the inside edge. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Tanner Banks getting ready to go. The 1-0. Yep. One In this situation, you strike. expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. Pitch Ball. misses. Now two balls and a strike. On the ground to the left. In time to Vaughn. And one away in the bottom now of the seventh. Second baseman. Marcus Simeon. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Ah. That one's in there, 0 1. We well, always say it's the best pitch in baseball, strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives you a little bit more confidence to move to the at bat. Yo, one. Just off the outside part one of the one. plate. And that is cut on and miss. And the count, one and two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. And the righty deals. Got him. Simeon down on strikes. Two outs, base is empty. Travis no Jankowski left. stepping in for the Rangers. Jankowski. In there for strike one. In there at the knees. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Line drive, brings it in for the third out. Rangers go down quickly there. They're in trouble here. It's 12-4.
Aroldis Chapman into the game. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Leading off the Yohan Moncada steps to the plate for the White Sox. Moncada. And a pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Next offering is foul back. Kicks and fires. And misses Ball inside. 2-1. Two. Two, High fly ball lifted in the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The bat. The, the center field. And up next for Chicago, Luis Robert. Swing and a miss, strike one. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Late that time, and it's strike two. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And he deals. And that just misses. Bullpen activity starting up now. Brock Burke, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go. The one-two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull those hands tight to the body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Vaughn in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Pitch is in for a strike and it's one, one and ball. one. One strike. That's down and in. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. Two, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Here's the 2-2. Bounce to the right foul side. Ball. And foul ball. 2-2 two -two now. Ball. Wow, this guy's Ball. really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. 3-2. and two. Payoff pitch. This one smoked out to left. And the inning is over. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they hold a 12-4 lead. So digging in, Nathaniel Lowe. The, Rangers, the first base Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. That clips the zone, and that is strike one. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Out to short. Tosses to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting, right fielder, Adolis. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one ball, just no. misses a ball and no strikes. And ball. there's a ball. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Ball. 
Next Four. offering misses, and now 3 and 0. And he walked him. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. No. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and deals. Boots it. The center field, number three. Leodi. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leodi Tavares. And first offering is fouled off. One out, runners at first and second. Ball one, one there. And the next pitch is way outside. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Hard ground ball base now. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Now bad at it. The Next up for Texas, Mitch Garver. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. And the first ball. pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. Right hander kicks deals. And that one is inside. Pressure's on right here. 2 0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Righty to the plate. And another oh, ball. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. The pitch. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Base is loaded, one away. That one ripped left field. Ben Intendi going back on it. Racing back some more. And he leaves the yard, grand slam. He sends it out of here. His second home run of the game, it's 12-8. a great job here of staying within himself you know that if you get a knock you're going to drive in a couple so stay focused on that well he does more than just a knock it's the grand slam to drive in for really good job with the play Keenan Middleton will take over here and he's got a nice lead to work with so he should come in throwing strikes attacking these hitters
Base is empty one away. And here is Sam Huff. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Right hander deals. Ball one. Splits the plate, and it's one, one and ball. two. two And the pitch. Right side. Number 22 drifts towards it. And there's two away. Now that shortstop. Two outs, space is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. Josh Smith. Strike one. The next oh. offering misses. Now one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Oh. Caught him looking for the K. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the Grand Slam home run. Through eight full. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Taking over on the mound for the Rangers, Will Smith. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Leading off on the White Sox, the left fielder number 23, Andrew Benintendi. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. Smith, in his 10th season, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. He makes the grab, one down. Up next to Chicago, third baseman, Jake Berger. Jake Berger steps to the plate for the White Sox. First offering misses the mark. That one drifts inside. Two balls, no strike. Next That's offering is in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. And oh. a strike. It misses. It's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Number 22. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there.
Strike two. Left hand hitter waits. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing here this half. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. It's the White Sox 12 and the Rangers 8. So the Rangers batting order turns over. Marcus Simeon getting ready to hit. Marcus Simeon. The right-hander back to work. There's a strike. In the air, right field. Number 22 has a beat on it. Pulls it in for the out. Now bad out. No left field here. Travis. Up next for the Rangers, Travis Jankowski. Outfield playing pretty shallow. And there's a foul ball. Ball in one now. And a bunt towards third. And that's just foul. Going two now. Good job to fight that one off. Here's the 0-2. And that one is inside ball one. One, two. Left hand batter waits. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. In the dirt, throw to first, and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Now, bad. First base. Nathaniel Lowe stepping in for the Rangers. Way inside, gets out of the way. The pitch. And now one strike away. Down to their final strike. That ball. one missed. Two ball, two strike. Two and two. Ball Upstairs. Down. Payoff pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Three balls, two strikes to count. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Fly ball down the line. Benintendi hustling after it. And that will drop foul. Is just one strike away. That one out to right. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox slug their way to a win in this one.
This one was pretty much decided in the third inning. From that point on, all they had to do was play fundamentally sound baseball to secure the win, and they did just that. The 12-8 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.